All right, good morning, kindergartners. We're gonna do a mad science experiment today. And we're all looking kind of silly in our wigs. We're doing mad science. And that's Mrs. Vogel waving. Mrs. Vogel wave again. Okay, and then next is Mrs. I. And then that's Mrs. Ah, Mrs. Wood. <laughs> and I'm talking, so I'm right here. I'm Mrs. Duncan. Okay, so we are going to do an experiment and we want you to try and kind of guess what you think we're gonna do. So a science experiment is when you put materials together and you're gonna kind of see what happens. So, I'm gonna add some more people. All right, when you're doing a science experiment, you wanna be really safe because you're using materials that could maybe hurt your skin or your eyes. So that's why we're wearing all this funny stuff. So everybody's got on their, um, their protective eyewear. Do you see that? And we have lab coats on to protect our clothes. And then the fun wigs are just so we look like mad scientists. <laughs> so that's why we have the fun the fun wigs on. All right, so when you're a scientist, you can make a hypothesis about what kind of things you think might happen. So a hypothesis is just kind of an, it's called an educated guess. So you take a guess and you use your brain to really think about what might happen. And so the hypothesis is just a guess of what you think might happen. So in our experiment today, we have, we're gonna use water bottles. We're gonna use dish soap. We're gonna use food coloring and yeast. Yeast is like what you put in bread and other things. Um, we're gonna use water, peroxide, and we're gonna use a cup. And so we're gonna put all of these ingredients in this water bottle and we're gonna see what happens. All right, anything else? No. Nope. All right, does anybody have any idea? I want someone to raise their hand and tell me what they think might happen. So who has an idea? of what they think might happen. So raise your hand if you have an idea, if you have a hypothesis of what might happen with all these ingredients. All right, Colt, what do you think might happen? Hi, Colt, can you hear us? What do you think might happen? What do you think might happen? You think it's going to explode? You think it's going to explode? Okay. Uh, Mrs. Wood, can you write up there? We think sure. the ingredients are going to explode. Good. All right, Maggie. Maggie, do you have an idea of what might happen? What? Um, Maggie, can you unmute yourself and tell us what you think might happen? No? All right, let me try somebody else. Camden. Camden, what do you think might happen? Can you unmute yourself and tell us? It's gonna make bubbles. You think it's gonna make bubbles? It's gonna make bubbles. All right, let's try one more person. Does anybody else have an idea of what they think might happen? Is your hand raised so I can call on you? All right, Nolan. What do you think, Nolan? Unmute yourself and tell us. Nolan Burkett. Nolan, can you tell us? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, all right. Uh, Sebastian, how about you, buddy? Raise your hand and say color bubbles. Sebastian, it's gonna explode. Okay. All right, so let's see. We're gonna do the experiment and then we can see if that, if you guys are right. Let's check your hypothesis. 
Okay, what do I want to push next? I guess we're just there. Okay. All right, so now you guys are going to watch and we'll do the experiment. Hi, Tucker. <laughs> Step one, pour half a cup of peroxide into an empty water bottle. Hi. I'll hold it for you. This is our peroxide we're pouring in. Okay, step two. Mix one teaspoon of yeast and two tablespoons of warm water in an empty cup. One teaspoon of yeast, which we already have. Yeah, that's two our tablespoons yeast. of warm water. One, two. And we'll stir it. Mix until all the yeast is dissolved, so all the yeast is gone. And we're making the same thing. We've just got two going. Yep, so what they're doing over there is the same thing of what we're doing here. Can you see? We're mixing it up till it all dissolves. Okay, I think it's pretty well mixed. Yep. Okay, step three. Add two to three drops of food coloring into the peroxide. One, two, three. You can see hope, but you can't probably see Can you see? One, two, three. So Mrs. Vogel and Mrs. Ott have red, and Mrs. Duncan and Mrs. Wood have blue. <coughs> Muted. They appear? They're all muted because they're supposed to be listening. Step four. <laughs> Add three squirts of dish soap into the peroxide. Into the peroxide. Do you guys want to do yours first? Yeah. Okay. Right in here, right? Yep. Yeah. peroxide. We're going to do two to three squirts. This is just dish soap. Probably seen it at home. Close so you guys can see. And admit whoever's waiting there. And we'll add the dish soap, two to three squirts, right into the bottle. Okay? Here's ours. And here comes the exciting part. Are you ready? We're going to add the yeast into the bottle. Yeah. Here we go. Let's Watch. See Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's going to bubble. Or explode. Or make bubbles. Oh What's happening? Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> she did it. Woo. Boo, it's glow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do you see it? It's still coming. Ooh. I think you may need to make it dry. Yes, it's warm. It looks like whipped cream. Feel it. It looks like whipped cream. It looks like whipped cream. It looks like whipped cream. It does look like whipped cream. Riggins, you're right. I think Mrs. Vogels and Mrs. Otts beat ours. It exploded first. I think we think we used more soap. Yeah, we had more soap in there. Okay. It looks like shaving cream too. It looks like shaving cream too. Look at that. So your hypothesis, let's see, you can explode in bubbles. I do see some little bubbles. It looks like shaving cream too. And it did explode, so I think you guys were both right. Good job on that hypothesis, friends. All right, so this experiment's called Elephant Toothpaste. I'm looking for the, yeah. Okay, so this is what we made, and it's called elephant toothpaste. Do you think an elephant would want to brush their teeth with that? It looks like shaving cream. It looks yeah. like shaving cream. It does. All right. Anything else, girls? 
No, nope, we hope you guys had fun and you were so proud of you guys for coming along on our first math science experiment. We'll see you next Friday. We'll do science experiment again next Friday. All right. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.